Mary said, My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, because the Lord has looked on his lowly handmaid. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to our last Amen. Amen. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, grant we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, looked, and there was the Lamb standing at Mount Zion, and with him a hundred and forty-four thousand who had his name in his Father's name written on their foreheads. I heard a sound from heaven, like the sound of rushing water or a loud peal of thunder. The sound I heard was like that of a harpist playing the harps. They were singing what seemed to be a new hymn before the throne, before the four living creatures and the elders. No one could learn this hymn except the 144,000 who had been ransomed from the, from the earth. These are the ones who follow the Lamb wherever He goes. They have been ransomed as the first fruits of the human race for God and the Lamb. On their lips, no deceit has been found. They are unblemished. The word of the Lord. Amen. Our responsorial song, Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people as long as you see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who, dis who, dis who desires not what is vain. Lord, this is the people that long to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that long to see your face. Yeah. 
for you do not know when the Son of Man will come. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When Jesus looked up, he saw some wealthy people putting their offerings into the treasury. And he noticed a poor widow putting in two small coins. He said, I tell you truly, this poor widow put in more than all the rest. For those others had made an offering from their surplus wealth, but she from her poverty has offered her whole livelihood. The Gospel of the Lord. Our gospel today is a great reminder for us as we prepare for Thanksgiving and all that entails to say thank you Lord for what we have received being grateful for our great aspects of life and so from that to say what is my response in gratitude what is again that thankfulness but it's also that way of charity that though the widow did not have a lot is that realization of what she has is given to her by God, and so she was able to give, and give from her poverty, to say that this is important as a witness or a testimony to what God has given to me. It's very similar to the memorial that we celebrate today with the presentation of Blessed Mary in the temple. It's that same aspect, to say that her parents, Joachim and Anne, were so blessed that they received a daughter in their old age, that they wanted to return her back, in a sense, to the Lord, to say, thank you, Lord, for this great gift. And so we praise the Lord in that presentation of Blessed Mary. Again, very similar to the widow, that they did not have much, but what they had was their daughter, and that was who, whom they presented to the Lord. To say that in that gratefulness, I return to the Lord what the Lord has given to me. And for us, it is that same aspect that the Lord has given to us so many things. So we try to return back to the Lord what God has given to us. One of those aspects is the way of time. It's a great struggle for us all to say the Lord has given us time and how to return that time back to the Lord. In that place of prayer, in that place of worship as well as in that place of service and charity, to say, Lord, you have given so much to me, and so let me return what you have given in gratefulness, to say, Lord, let me be able to be grateful for what I have received. My dear sisters and brothers, let's continually be grateful to the Lord, let's continually be willing to give as we have received, so that through that we might be like the widow, we might be like the Blessed Mother's parents, that we might be grateful for what we have received and in that gratitude be able to share it with others. My dear sisters and brothers, gathered among the multitude of God's people, let us offer our prayers petitions to our Heavenly Father. That God's grace may rush like water through those baptized in Christ's name, we pray to the Lord. Lord. That God's people may be sung in the voices and songs of every people. We pray to the Lord. Lord that God's voice may sound in every human language. We pray to the Lord. Lord that God's glory may shine in every living creature. We pray to the Lord. Lord that God's mercy may warm the hearts of the sick. We pray to the Lord. Lord let us pray for Helen, Helen Servoy, for Judy Moy, for Maria Sanchez, for peace in our world, especially the Ukraine. We pray to the Lord. 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 
That God's promise may restore those asleep in the grave. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Let's also pray for all victims of violence. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And for your own intention. Lord, help us be the bearer of the fruit of the Holy Spirit in our daily life. Love, peace, joy, patience, kindness, gentleness, generosity, self-control. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the end of abortion in the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the poor souls in purgatory, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all these prayers and the prayers and songs of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Hear our prayers, God of all nations, and call us each by name. Lead us at last to Mount Zion, to join the multitude of those who give thanks and praise unto the endless ages of ages. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will be calm for spiritual drink. Brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name. For our good will also be changed. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, to me. Look, O Lord, upon the prayers of the, and offerings of your faithful, presented in commemoration of Blessed Mary, the Mother of God that they may be pleasing to you, and may confer on her your help and forgiveness through Christ on you. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name as we celebrate in veneration and the presentation of Blessed Ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son. Without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore, powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and blessed seraphim, worship together with exaltation. May our voices be praised along with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son and Christ, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son and
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this. All of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. We thank thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. And bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Lady of Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Hugh, St. Paul the Sixth, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co heirs of eternal life. May we praise and glorify you. Through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. By the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Let not in our sins by the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. We'll live in reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, the 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my word, but only say the word and my soul shall be. Mary treasured all these words, reflecting on them in her heart. Let us pray. Having been made partakers of the spiritual food, we pray, O Lord our God, that steadily imitating the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may always be found intent on service of your church, and may know the joys of doing your will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with may Almighty God bless you. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go for the Mass is at Thanks be to God. Dear let's pray at Hail Mary for the needs of our church, our world, and of our community. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for 
for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Let us pray prayer to our mother and mothers. Mother and mothers, holy queen, chosen before all women to be the mother of the Son of God. Mary, my mother, when your maternity have so sanctified, say, Holy Mother, imploring me, I come to you, humbly I beseech you, confidently I trust in you. I know that you can, by your all powerful intercession, help me in my need. In you I take refuge, dear Virgin, for in need I place my hope entirely in you. I relinquish all confidently in your hands, betray not my own trust. But hear my petitions and come to my aid, dear Mother of Mothers. Mother of Mothers.